They turned out in their thousands, despite this rally being banned. Young and old, even children were there. They weren't going to stop demanding democracy. But there was evident anger and frustration. A billboard marking the 70th anniversary of communist rule in China was ripped down. And all along the way, they sprayed graffiti. If they suppress us more, we'll resist more. And if they try to kill us with the real bullets, just let us burn together. And it didn't take long for that to happen. This is the seat of the Hong Kong government. There's a lot of anger over how the authorities have handled this. And this is the 13th consecutive week of protests, with them getting ever more violent. The water cannon used this time had blue dye to stain protesters who could be picked up later. The protesters and the demonstrators taking part in this seem to be getting more and more hardened and more and more determined and more and more angry. The protesters handed out rocks to throw at the police. We saw them using catapults to aim marbles. And they threw back gas canisters fired in their direction, as well as lobbed petrol bombs. Streets in the heart of this, one of the world's leading financial hubs, were shut down as astonished tourists and shoppers looked on aghast at the scenes unfolding in front of them. Time and again, the protesters were able to outwit the police. At one stage, building and setting alight a large barricade around the corner from the police headquarters. This has been a tactic. They've moved around. The demonstrators, they hit something quickly and then move to a different area. And it's, it's quite difficult to police. Well, the master of the understatement, it's extremely difficult to police. The authorities struggled to bring the situation under control as pictures of Hong Kong burning swept around the world. In this video we were given, protesters claim the men in black are undercover police officers mingling with demonstrators. And protesters say two live rounds were fired into the air, claims we can't verify. Then the riot police, led by a small contingent of British officers, moved in en masse. and they were determined to make some arrests. This is what many protesters fear most, with repeated claims of police brutality and sexual violence against the women once they're out of sight of witnesses. I don't know what's happening here. They're checking whether they are media, because people have been masquerading as, as media. Why, why, why are you questioning him? Why I have to check his identity, right? Right. Oh, he's, got, he's clearly marked as press. He's, press. he's clearly marked as press. Every press, press can also wear this mask. Is it possible? Yes or no? Are you getting control of the streets? At this stage, no, they weren't. So they went on the offensive. And as protesters headed for a train station, this happened. The sight of young people cowering, begging not to be hit by police, is not a good look for Hong Kong. This was a very black day for Hong Kong. And the violence is escalating on both sides, with no end in sight, and the situation getting more and more out of control. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Hong Kong.